the Gorilla Cart Model GOR801. We're going to unbox it and we're going to build it. It's a very quick build. The cart is well made. It's made by Gorilla Carts and Gorilla Carts is located uh, in Eden Prairie, Minnesota and their website is www.gorillacarts.com so we'll unpack the box here and the first thing we see are the sides of the cart uh, the two sides are in the very top and they're covered with uh, paper and we'll get those out and set those aside After we set the sides on, out of the way, we're going to take the, the wrapper, the next layer of wrapper, packing wrapper, and set that aside. And this reveals the rest of the kit, which is the four wheels. These are rubber tires with um, inner tubes, and they are already aired up to some extent. I imagine they have a, a 20 pounds in them or so, but they are firm. We're going to set the wheels aside, and next we have the instruction manual. The instruction manual is a couple pages, but it's still very simple because there's only five steps to building this cart. So now we're looking at the tongue, and the tongue is convertible. It, you can uh, switch it to handle or you can switch it to uh, a fitting for a lawn tractor. The way it is packed you still have a pin. I pull the pin and there is a cottier key that slips in there and holds it in place. So I just put that into place and that puts it in the pull mode, hand pull mode. Very nice, well made, everything is powder coated. The welds are very clean and well done. This is the front part of the side and it has the two latches on it. And then to the back we see uh, the base tongue which connects to the front axle. and now we see the front axle it has some uh, plastic uh, covers on the pins that are on the bed which protects them for the threads we have a, the back uh, side panel this is the bolt set everything has been shrink wrapped into a bolt package and that corresponds with the instructions so it's very easy to see what to do first, second, third, and the bolts are uh, in groups of first, second, third. Now there's the protective plastic pan for the uh, cart. Set the box aside, and there's our base. Very well made, beautiful powder coating. All the bolts, the primary bolts are in place. So we just set the rear axle into place and pull out the two washers and bolts that are required to hold that down. Uh, the bolts that are being provided are very top quality aviation style bolts with uh, nylon locks built into them so that they stay tight once they're tightened down. So we look at the instructions and we are on step one and we're going to put a washer and a bolt on each of the two points for the rear axle. And right now I'm just hand tightening them, but they're showing you a close up there of the nylon lock washer that's built into those bolts. So now we're looking at step two and we want to put in that plastic bearing first and that's what the, uh, the front axle is going to pivot on. 
and then we put on a washer and a nut and at this time I'm just hand tightening everything down and I'll go back at the end and uh, use uh, socket wrenches and tighten everything firm. So now that we've got that front bolt in place we're looking at the next step and the next step calls for the wheels. No, I take that back. We're going to put in the main tongue, the base tongue, and it's bolted on each side of the front axle horizontally, and it uses a bolt, a washer, and a uh, nylon lock nut. It's a steel it's a steel nut, but it has a nylon top washer that prevents the bolt from coming loose. It's very uh, high quality. So now that we got that into place, we'll move on to the next set. I'm removing the uh, carter pins from the uh, packaging. and the wheels use a washer and a carter pin to hold the wheels into place. Very easy to remove and you just take some needle nose pliers and and bend those pins so that they hold the wheels on firmly. And that's nice if you have to take a wheel off and break it down to replace the tube or you get a hole, a puncture, it's, it's very nice. So we're now putting a washer and a pen and I'm just going to use my hand to sp uh, spread them just a little bit. I'll come back later with uh, a large pair of needle nose pliers and separate them properly. But I'm just hand tightening everything and putting it on by hand. This is full assembly. There's a rear. So let's do that. This card is rated at 800 pounds and when you consider that most of the time when you buy fertilizers and bags of lawn uh, product you're usually buying a 50 pound bag so you would have to have a lot of bags uh, to, to reach 800 pounds for the ratings on this cart so this cart is really the optimal cart for our yard and uh, this was purchased at Home Depot in 2019 at a hundred dollars, ninety-nine dollars. So it's reasonably priced considering the build quality. You can save twenty or thirty dollars on another cart uh, at another store, but the build quality is not near as good as this cart. Plus, this cart has the option of being able to either be hand pulled or be pulled by your lawn equipment, your riding mower or lawn tractor or even a four-wheeler. You could definitely use it to go camping. If you were backwoods camping with a four-wheeler and you wanted to pull this cart with some gear, you couldn't beat it. It's a very nice cart. So now we're putting the front uh, tongue into position and from that point we'll take a break and tighten everything down with wrenches. So now that we've tightened it all up with wrenches, there's the final cart. The side panels were put into place very easily. They don't require tools. As you can see, they just latch. And the latches are in the front of the side panels. The two front, the front side panel, back side panel uh, connects the two rears. And there's the bottom of the cart. And there's a protective mat. It's a light plastic mat 
very nice build very quick to build probably 20 minutes it took to build this cart and maybe a little bit less had I had the proper wrenches uh, laid out I did uh, have to hunt for the proper size wrenches thanks for watching